Hello, thank you for coming to my channel once again. If you are here watching this video, two things are likely. The first is that it is likely you are a mom, you've had a baby. And the second is that it is likely you are tired. How do I know? Because studies have shown that about 9 out of 10 women who have had a baby complain that they are tired. And this is very important because it is one of the reasons mothers give for stopping exclusive breastfeeding. Most mothers stop exclusive breastfeeding. That is those who stop, who stop exclusive breastfeeding because they are fatigued. Of course, some will also stop because they feel that the baby is not getting enough milk. But if you think about it closely, it's also related to fatigue. So fatigue is one of the commonest reasons women give for discontinuing exclusive breastfeeding. That is why it's important we talk about it because here we want to help you to do the best for your baby. If you have chosen or you want to do exclusive breastfeeding, we want to help you. So what are the reasons mothers get tired after having a baby? The first reason is that labor and delivery or cesarean section make you tired. They are processes that make you tired. That's just how they are. Your body has been through a lot. Hormones are dancing up and down. They just make you tired. The second is that breastfeeding makes a lot of demand on your body takes energy out of you, and this can make you tired. Third, you are sleep deprived, very likely, because babies, they take over your life. They want attention all the time. They cry all the time. They are always in need of you. So it is likely you are not sleeping well. You are sleep deprived. Then it is likely that you are not eating well. Sometimes we are in a hurry. We don't put a lot of thoughts into what we are feeding ourselves. Or we are in a hurry to lose the weight that we gained over nine months. We want to lose it in one month or two months. So we don't eat well, but you need to eat well. So it is likely you are tired because you are not eating well. Then dehydration. Your baby is feeding. Feeding breast milk. Breast milk is about 90% or more of water. Where is the water coming from? The water is coming from your body. So your baby is taking water from your body. That will make you dehydrated. So it's likely you are tired because you are dehydrated, because you are not drinking enough water. The water in your body is too low. That may be a reason why you are tired. Then it is also likely you are tired because of anemia. When you deliver, whether you deliver vaginally or by cesarean section, you lose a lot of blood. And a lot of us go into pregnancy with borderline anemia or even anemia. While we are pregnant, we are anemic. So all these things may be there. And even if you are not anemic, when you deliver and you lose blood, when your blood levels drops from what your body is used to, you will feel some symptoms. And one of them is tiredness or fatigue. So it is likely you are anemic. And then some women also have thyroid problems after delivery. About 5 out of 100 women will have thyroid problems after delivery. So, you may be one of those. Then, it is also likely you have postpartum depression. It is there. About 1 out of 10 women who have a baby will have postpartum depression. It is normal after you have had a baby to have mood swings, to feel sad once in a while. But if this feeling persists, over 2 weeks, you are feeling so fatigued. You don't want to do anything. You are feeling like crying all the time. You don't want to get out of bed. It is interfering in how you are taking care of your baby and yourself or the other activities that you need to do. It is likely that you have postpartum depression. So these are some of the reasons why you may be tired. So what can you do about it? Recognize that you are tired. That is the first thing. Because when you know there's a problem, then you can work on a solution. Then secondly, sleep when your baby sleeps. Sometimes it may not even be a long sleep. You know when you are breastfeeding, some hormones are released that make you sleepy. They relax you. You can take advantage of this. As you are breastfeeding, your baby falls asleep. Even if it is 10 to 20 minutes, you can get a power nap. After that nap, you will feel refreshed. But when your baby takes a long sleep, especially in the night, sleep when your baby sleeps. We know that in the early days, they don't sleep much in the night. So at that time, it is during the day that you'll be getting the sleep. Take any opportunity, take advantage of any time your baby sleeps to sleep. 
then eat well. Like I said, think about what you are eating. You cannot give what you don't have. If you don't have energy because you are not eating well, you won't have energy to give to the care of your baby. Don't be in a hurry to lose the weight that you gained over nine months. Give your body time. In fact, if you lose the weight too fast, it will even affect your breastfeeding. So that is not good for the baby. And it's also not good for your health if you lose the weight too fast. Because if you lose it too fast, you are likely to gain it back. So eat well. Don't eat for two. You don't need to eat for two. But just eat well. Listen to your body. Eat till you are full. And like my dietitian says, eat a rainbow. Eat a rainbow means fill your food, your plate with different colors of foods. Vegetables and fruits whole grains and cereals, our proteins, um, our oils, not too much, just a little, and concentrate on the whole foods because they have a lot of fiber and they keep you full for long. The foods that are processed, they remove a lot of fiber out of them and sometimes they even lose some nutrients in addition to the fiber. So look at foods like whole oats, unpolished rice, that's the brown rice, Sogu, millet, corn, cassava, yam, potatoes. Most of our carbohydrate staples are whole. But those the ones that are overly processed, like the pasta, they, they don't keep you full for long. And you need the fiber. They also don't have the fiber. Actually, that's why they don't keep you full for long. So eat a rainbow. Make sure your food is balanced. Having food from all the food groups, different colors, eat a variety. Eat just until you are full. Don't eat so much because you think you are breastfeeding. And don't eat too little. Don't starve yourself. It will affect your health. It will affect your breastfeeding. Continue to take your prenatal vitamins. Because like I said, you may be anemic. You've lost a lot of blood. So continue to take your prenatal vitamins. Drink when the baby drinks. The breast milk is water coming out of your body. So whenever you're breastfeeding and you remember, drink a glass of water or more. Even if you're not breastfeeding, as soon as you remember, drink a glass of water. We all, or we all need water. And a lot of us don't drink enough water in a day anyway. So drink a lot of water. And then do things that make you happy aside caring for your baby. It's okay to feel that the baby has taken over your life. But once in a while, just leave the baby in the care of a trusted adult. You can ask the baby's dad or your partner to help you. They can even help you with breastfeeding. You can express the milk and take a walk or something. Go and read a book, watch a movie, something. And then when the baby needs food, breast milk is at home and the baby will be fed. So do something else. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your psyche. It's good for your body. And when you are healthy, when you are happy, then you are revamped to give more care and more love to your baby. Then... Also exercise. I know it sounds counterintuitive. You are tired. You feel that because you are tired, if you exercise, you will feel more tired. But if you exercise, the same feel-good hormones that are released when you are breastfeeding, they are also released when you exercise. And exercise makes you feel good. Exercise keeps you healthy. It takes you closer to your goal of getting back to the weight you were before you got pregnant. It's good for your internal organs as well. So because it's good for you, exercise is also good for your baby. Exercise. And it will make you even sleep better. So overall, when you exercise, you'll find that everything is better for you. You don't need to go and get a gym membership immediately. Just take it easy. Exercise as you are able. A lot of mothers will say that because they've had a cesarean section, they don't exercise. No. Even when you have had a cesarean section, you need to exercise. In fact, it's even more important that you exercise when you have had a cesarean section because surgery in the abdomen, if you don't exercise, it can give you clots in your legs and that can be um, a disaster. It can actually, the clot, the clot can dislodge and go into your lungs and all that. So you need to exercise. The first day, it may just be moving your legs in the bed. The next day is just walking a few distance. Exercise as you are able and build on it as the days go by and as you feel stronger. So exercise. Ask for help. Help with what? Help with taking care of your baby. Help with the house chores, you know. Ask for help. And if all this persists, if you have tried all this and still your fatigue persists, then you need medical help. Because maybe 
despite you taking your prenatal vitamins, your anemia is such that you need a different dose or a stronger um, supplement or something like that. You may even need a blood transfusion in rare cases. So seek medical help or because maybe because you have a thyroid problem or maybe because you have postpartum depression. So seek medical help. So how do you feel? You've had a baby. How are you managing your fatigue? Or if you are not fatigued, tell us and let's learn from you the things that you are doing. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section. We so love to hear from you because we want this to be relevant to you. And like this video if you found this relevant. Share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.